shout hallelujah. Put your anger for Jesus and may please be seated. Comfortable in God's presence. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor. At least now, I think, I think we can shake, right? Say welcome to church. Say welcome to the encounter. Welcome to the encounter. We'd like to welcome you to Tehillim 3.0. Put your anger for Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, before we go into what God has for us today, it's important for us to lay background and the foundation as to what God is about to do. So, um, if this is your first time in church or first time in this church, you know that we have, um, Remy, as Remy will say, service unusual as usual. Right? Um, so, every Sunday we come to church and we are being ministered to, right? God ministers to us. But this Sunday, we have the real opportunity, guys, to minister to God. God does not search for many things, right? If you check God's explore, I mean, explore, I mean, explore page on Instagram, nothing is there. You just see worshippers. The only thing God is looking for is worshippers. It's fine. And see, it's not about the church members. Though. It's not about people that can sing worship song. It's not people that are semi-worshippers. It's looking for true worshippers that worship him in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. And please, worship is not the pace of the song. Bible says he is no, he's no more in search of um, worship of bulls, I mean sacrifice of bulls and cows. He's looking for a living sacrifice. So what we come to do at Tehillim is to offer ourselves as a living sacrifice because we are the worship. A song by Dusin says, um, um, I have more than a song today. I bring myself. I am. We are the worship. We are the ones. Right? If you go back to, I mean, my favorite scripture in the Bible, I think I said it before, is Genesis 1 and Genesis 2. Why? Because, I mean, Genesis 1 especially, because there's no devil, no nothing. It was just Jesus, Jesus alone. Right? I mean, God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Right? And what happened in Genesis, right, was that two brothers came to come and offer a sacrifice to God, Cain and Abel. And God said, I, I mean, God accepted Abel and his offering and rejected what? Cain and his offering. God rejected the person before he rejected the offering. God has to accept you before he accepts your worship. So as we go into a session of worship, some songs you might know, some songs you might not know, please join in. This, this session is more spontaneous than usual. So please join in. Enjoy the presence of God. And please remain connected. Remain connected. Because things will happen. Chains will be broken. And listen. Hallelujah. Much more than ever before, we are ministering to God. We are ministering to God. So please be in tune. And I'm, I'm, I'm trusting God that much more than you believe. Now, we will say, I ah, know, I must pray. We communicate our, our, our pain through worship. We communicate our expectation through worship. We communicate everything that's inside of us through worship. So as we worship and as we praise, because I want our hearts to be there. I want our bodies to be there. I want our minds to be there. Because only a three-parted being can worship God effectively. Your body has to be there. Your mind has to be there. And your spirit has to be there. And we must come to God with our expectation. So how about our heads right now and ask God, God, I am here. Father, this is what I want. Father, I am here. This is what I want. Jesus, I am here. This is what I want. Father, I am here. This is what I want. I want you to miss me at this point. I want to worship you in spirit and in truth. I want to encounter you in spirit and in truth. Is somebody talking to God? We have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God. And I remember a couple of angels to the spirit of just men made perfect. Somebody ask God, this is my expectation tonight. This is my expectation today. For in Jesus, mighty name we are afraid. Hallelujah.
his way. Now that he's here, we want to have his way. So we are going into a moment of spontaneous worship. Please, if you know the song, join us. If you know the song, just worship God. This will be displayed. But all in all, I want to ask to be connected. And God has his way. In Jesus' name. Somebody lift your hand to the Lord. Tell him to come have his way. Somebody lift your hand and ask God to have his way.
Much more than the song, you have come to worship him.
ajuda. Somebody proclaim it. Somebody proclaim it. One time, I want you to scream this noise. You are the light of the world.
the cross. Our banner is the Son of God. So when they see us, when they see us, when they try to take a stand against us, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against them. So you are going to sing that song again. You are going to sing it and address those challenges in your life. That the Son of God is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted high above every principality. The Son of God is lifted high above every challenge.
You sustain the whole world in your hands. And in your breath, there is life. Your power, no one can contain. Your power, no one can contain. And the sound of your voice is darkness. The sound of your voice is darkness. You sustain.